I'm gonna tell you something. I know you don't even know who I am, but maybe that's okay. There are things that need to be said. Things I have to say. I was nine years old. A man took me. He said he was taking me to see my father. The next thing I know, we're in this room. There weren't any windows, just mirrors everywhere. This thing is bigger than me. I am a monster because of it. I am a monster. Don't even say my name. You have ruined any amount of trust I have ever had in you. This happened to me before. I've been here before. I can't do it. I'm done. I just wanted to stop, okay? I wanted to stop before it gets worse. Why are you acting like this? Every time I try to get close to you, you reject me. What the fuck is that? I lied to myself. I lied to the people I love. People always say there's a choice, but there just isn't one. And to deny myself these feelings would only be denying myself of who I really am. I can't live with myself anymore with these things that I've done. And Jessica's been up since seven, so you're gonna have no trouble with her at all. She's gonna sleep right through the night. We're gonna be at that bar right down the road, so if you need anything at all, please just call me on my cell. If you forget the number, it's also in that green book. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm so excited yeah, to get out. Of course. Have a good night. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Good night. See you guys later. Uh, your mom told me you've been up all day. Aren't you tired? Yeah, but it's hot. 
Halloween. I know, I know. Look, your mom said that we can't leave the house, but if you want to watch a scary movie or something, we can do that. No, that's all right. All right. Have a good night. Sleep well. It's me. Hi, honey. Is everything okay? No, no, no. Everything's fine. Yeah. Um, Jessica's asleep upstairs. I was just calling uh, to ask... Wait, I can't hear you. Hold on a second. Hello? Okay. I'm sorry. What? Yeah. I was just calling to ask if I could um, rent a movie on demand. It's only like five bucks, but you know, I wanted to ask you first. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. So I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but would you mind if I covered up the clown statue in the living room? We don't have a clown statue.
There's only so much money in the mall. We got a big job. No way we could afford it. At least three chips. No way we could afford it. We got a budget. Everybody, everybody, calm down. Calm down. This is not how this is going to be handled. Now, I don't want to spend the rest of the night here, so we're going to move through this as quick as possible. For those of you who don't know, this is Susan Barr. She's with Public Relations. Yeah, we know who she is. Can we move on? Have you spoken to the media yet? No. Okay, before you talk to anyone, you all need to be on the same page. Starting tomorrow, every faculty member will give one free period to monitor oh, students, my God. monitor oh, students, visitors, and other the, faculty the, members. Why, you you this? Yeah. Students. why should we agree to that? Listen, this is all we can afford. Paul, you're implying that the faculty members will be investigated next. Look. That's all fine and dandy, but do you want parents pulling their children out of school? That's not gonna happen. I won't let it happen. Paul, do you really want parents thinking their children aren't safe here? Well, they need to know. Who's gonna stop them from thinking about that? These are good people, Paul. You hired half of them. Do you really want to drag them into this? I mean, what are we worried about here? Are we worried about the school's reputation or finding this girl? Finding the girl's not my job. Then why are you here? To save your ass. I don't think you fully grasped the situation. Look, we're all adults here. I think we could handle the situation. We? You're the face of the school, Paul. This all falls on you. This is my third time with this goddamn meeting here. And it's making me sick. Yeah, and how can you say that? Because the girl wasn't even taken from school grounds. Not this year. Last time, last time it the girl- It should have been a last time. After the first time, we should have installed cameras around the school. Why weren't precautions taken after the first time? I wanted to install the cameras, but district, district wouldn't give me the money from the budget to do it. Unbelievable. The budget is The situation is out of control. You can't imagine the things I've been hearing from the parents. Tomorrow, we have a big, big problem. Big problem. Big problem. Obviously, you're not ready for this PTA meeting. Call me when you're ready to discuss a legitimate approach. And just so you know, this isn't some small town bullshit. This is primetime news. I just hope you're ready for it. Because the fact of the matter is, Principal Clark, this is the third girl who's gone missing from your school during your tenure. That's Isabella, your niece, hmm? Angela's daughter. <laughs> and that's Danny and Mark. This is Maria? Yeah, yeah, that's Maria. Hmm. Look, Dad, we need to talk for a minute, okay? Um, the insurance companies have been trying. Well, they've been fighting with us for months because they think that you're capable of living on your own. Why wouldn't I be? Dad, where do you think all the money that you get for heat and electric and gas comes from? Because it's not coming from my pocket. <laughs> Stop pulling my leg. You know I work at the hardware store on the highway and I don't spend money on groceries, Natalie. Your mother does the food shop. Dad. That store closed in 1987, and my mother died shortly after.
Do you trust me? What? Do you trust me? Why are you asking me this? Because it's important to me. Yeah, I trust you. I want this to work. Relationships are overrated. Where'd that come from? They are. It's like an invitation to a massive, stupid to-do list. Don't you think when two people know each other, spend time together like this, it means something? I just hate putting a label on things. Like, why can't it just be what it is? Because, I mean... Relationships tear people apart. Why are you asking me this now? Because I don't want to lose you. It's important that we have this meeting today because child safety is our number one priority. We're all doing our best during this time to address the tragic event that has struck our town. There is absolutely no reason to believe that your children are not safe here. Frank called. Frank who? Frank Collins from back in the day. You and him and all your buddies used to go to the Poconos every year. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, he left all his information on the machine and I think it'd be nice if we have him over sometime. Someone's gonna be coming by the house sometime next week to check up on you and see how you're doing, so. I just hope it's not on the same day as my job interview. Why? 
because bills have to be paid. Come on, Amy, let's go. Mommy has to leave. Can you see I'm watching TV? Come on, sweetie, let's go. I have some things to do and some errands to run, and you have an appointment. Come on. Where are you going? I'm going to go for a haircut, and then I'm going to see if they could fit me in. And then I have some places to go and pick up some things for you know whose birthday party. When is that again? Next Saturday. Amy, let's go. Even my dad is a pet rock. OK. You need anything while I'm out? No, I'm good. OK, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Can you put something different on, please? Like what? Anything other than the news? I hate the news. It's always depressing shit. Observe. You. How did you see that? Because I was looking for it. Need to relax.
No, you don't understand. The money he gets from SSI pays for this house, okay? If he doesn't have that money, then he loses the house. Yeah, every, every day I go back and forth with you guys and the healthcare companies and it's like nobody is communicating. He has Alzheimer's. Why can't you talk to me? Because I'm sick and tired of talking about my problem. You're such a fucking liar. I'm a liar. Yeah, you're a liar. Every time you cause a scene every two months, then have an episode and then say, you don't want to talk about your problems? Ooh, I'm sorry I'm such a fucking inconvenience. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't just do whatever the fuck you want whenever you want. That's not how this shit works. I don't think we can be together anymore. <laughs> I don't believe you. So send someone over. Yeah, send someone to the house. This is ridiculous. He is losing his mind. No, do not, do not put me on hold. Where's your phone? Why? Give me your fucking phone. I need to call my mom. Go fucking buy one. You're not leaving. Watch me. Better yet, record it. I don't accept this. I don't accept this. Go to the lines of some hooker's tits. I don't accept this. Tiffany! I made a mistake, okay? I made a fucking mistake, John. Why are you acting like this? Why can't you commit to me? You're not making any sense. Every time I try to get close to you, you reject me. What the fuck is that? I have to go. <laughs> don't walk away from me. Throw this shit on me, you can't ignore this! Oh, you're not qualified. You're not qualified to answer these questions. Then can you answer me why I have been on the phone with you for the past 40 fucking minutes? Look at me. Look at me. I know you're not telling me something. Okay? What are you hiding? There's things you don't know about me. I'm here. I'm here. But I promised myself that I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this to anybody. Especially not to you. Tell me you don't love me. I don't even know what that is. Hello. Larry, hi. Who is this? It's Frank, it's Frank. Frank? How are you? I haven't heard your voice in years. I know, it's been so long. How's everyone? How's Natalie? Oh, she's doing great. How are the kids? Good, good. Marissa just got married. Wow, well, congratulations. Ah, uh, you know, still living on Long Island. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Can't leave the scenery. <laughs> <laughs> Are uh, you still in Pennsylvania? Yeah, but I'll be in New York until Thanksgiving, so I figured you could, uh, we could, uh... I, uh, I, uh, could you hold on, Frank? I, I'm getting another call. Okay, okay. Hello. Hey. What are you doing right now? Uh, nothing. Uh, just reading a book. Could you do me a favor and put the rest of the leaves in the garbage? Uh, oh, I forgot. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I, I was in a rush this morning and completely forgot to bring the pals out to the curb. Can you do that for oh, me? Oh, sure. Sure. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry to bother you. I love you. You too. I'll talk to you later, okay? Hey.
Frank, uh, I'm going to have to call you back. Coming in? Yeah, in a minute. Okay. Oh, so fucking wired right now. Jesus Christ, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Fuck this school, man. Fuck this fucking school. I can't, I, I can't take this shit anymore. What do you mean? I, it's just, you know, it's fucking, it's, it's, a, it's project after project after project, and I, I just can't fucking take it anymore. It's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got this internship, right? Right? And that's bullshit. And I just, I've come to realize that it's all fucking bullshit, and I can't fucking take it anymore. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like, it's like, they, they had me running around looking like a fucking idiot. And for what? For what? You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, if that's just how it's gonna be, then I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead. Mm. You can't quit, man. You can't quit. Uh, yeah, he's right. He's right. You can't fucking quit. I, I, I'm gonna be 100% with you right now, okay? You are probably one of the most talented people that I know, okay? You get fucking straight A's, you understand that? You can't just fucking, you can't just quit because you're feeling down. It's, it's fucking hard sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, like, you know, you, you go out there and, and it, it, it's, it's a fucking big dream, you know? It's like a too big a dream. I know, I know, man. You gotta understand, you gotta kiss a lot of ass before you get where you're going, right? So all I'm trying to say to you, brother, all I'm trying to say is pucker the fuck up and get it done. 
The only way to get anywhere is to know on someone, and no one knows nobody, right? Well, yeah, but the thing is, like, I don't want to struggle. You know, I don't want to struggle. I'm gonna be that person, you know, chasing this dream for 30 years, and nothing happens. You know, like, like you, you, you think you're gonna come out here, and everything's gonna be like a fucking movie? Well, guess what? It's not a fucking movie. It's life. You know what? You know, you're right. You are fucking right, but you gotta understand that we gotta keep doing what we're doing. You know what I'm talking about? You just gotta, you just gotta keep fucking going. You know? You gotta, fuck it. You know, fuck them, fuck everything. Right? Yeah. You gotta realize that we can be anything we wanna be. You understand that, right? You, you, we can do fucking anything that we wanna do. So let's, let's fucking do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. I don't fucking know. I mean, honestly, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Where? I, I don't fucking know. I honestly, I don't fucking know. I don't care. He's gonna go. He's gonna go, go, go. We need a fucking coke. Someone's birthday's coming up. I don't remember who's though. Oh well, I guess I'll have to return all the presents I bought. It's my birthday. Don't worry, sweetie. She's just joking. Around. No, I'm not. I don't even know an Amy. So what do you want to do on your birthday, Miss Amy? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? There has to be something that you want. Mm, a boat. A boat? I'll buy you a boat if you do really good in school this year. I'm a Scorpio, and Scorpios are ambitious. <laughs> I can't even get the last bit. <laughs> don't worry about that. Let's put that right there. Dad, why are you always bring food outside? What are you talking about? In the shed. Well, when Daddy's working in the yard, he gets hungry. Oh. So I bring food with me. Oh. <laughs> Dad, we have to get you ready. You have physical therapy soon. They called me and said they could squeeze you in earlier, so I... Dad? Oh, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. I was calling your name, you didn't answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> we gotta get you ready to go though, okay? I made your appointment earlier so I could do some food shopping afterwards. All right, come on, let's go. What's wrong? Dad? I, ha I had something to tell you. What's the matter? Huh? It's something important. Something. It's... I don't remember. Hold on. All right, I'll be right back. Hold on. They make it seem like I'm not doing enough. The girl wasn't even kidnapped on school property. It's not my fault. He seems to feel that he has something to gain by doing this. I'll tell you something, his reputation couldn't... It was at rock bottom before he did this. I had meetings. So he felt he had to do something. I made counseling sessions for the parents. His lawyer refused to go up there. Went out of my way more than fucking once. come back to haunt him in the courtroom. Right now, joining us is the executive director of Behavioral Associates in New York, Dr. Robert Reiner. Statistically, the majority of serial killers are men. That's not to say or exclude the possibility that a female can't be a serial killer. In the case this of this happened like ten blocks from my house. Girls, once again, the majority of the perpetrators are male. You never know. You just the never know. For the abduction or discovery. We can only protect them the so much. To make a difference. All right, Robert Reiner. We thank you very much for joining us today. Okay. Thank you. Sing me to sleep, sing me to sleep, I'm 
I miss her. I really miss her now. You know, I really thought she was the one. You never really find those people, you know? I thought she was different. Mm. Mm -mm. Not different. Like, I don't know, man. It's like, it's like she's hiding something. There's no reason to hide anything from me. She knows that. I was this chick in high school, right? Met her in like seventh grade, best friends. Hung out all the time. Eventually I fell for her. Yeah, I fell hard. Like, I loved that girl. She fucked with my head. But she told me that she had feelings for me. And the idiot that I am, I actually believed her. We fought, and fought, and fought, and eventually I realized this shit's not healthy. No, I, I hated the way I was. I was miserable, fucking depressed, all the time. We tried so hard just to stay friends. Couldn't even do that. And then one day I realized, only way to fix it, was to never speak to her again. No, cut her out of my life completely. So, that's what I did. No phone calls, no texts, nothing. I erased her. And then one day, I woke up, and it was gone. Just gone. All I needed was time. If you can't wait that long, I got a buddy that can fix that. Trust me.
Look, I don't mean to throw all this on you right now. I know you've had a rough week, but I'd rather tell you now than later. Grandpa gets a check from the government every month to basically live, to help him live here at home. It comes from Social Security, kind of. Anyway, they think that Grandpa's capable of living on his own, which is bullshit. He has no one here to look after him. And we're on the verge of losing the house. I can't do all this on my own unless we move out of state where I can afford to have him live with us. And, and by the looks of it, we might not have a choice. It's not like he's walking around like a zombie. We're lucky he still knows how to go to the bathroom, tie his shoes. But I don't want it to get to that point. And, and don't even say that, Tiffany. The other day he looked right at me and didn't have a clue who I was. I never felt so sick in my life. Whose place did I pick you up from? John's. Is that who you're living with now? No, I am staying with my friend Kim. Who's Kim? A friend from school. And where does she live? The Upper West Side. Why don't you go play some cards with Grandpa? No. Grandpa doesn't care if I play cards with him or not. Just like John's not gonna care if I jump off of a bridge. There's no use trying to fix something when it's broken. Don't you ever joke about that again. So have you thought about what you wanna do for your birthday? No. You wanna go to the movies? Well, you want to have some friends over? Movies. Okay. Can we do come over? No, honey, not today. Mommy has a lot of things to do, and I don't know if Daddy's going to be home. It's okay. I'll put the girl in the backyard. What? The girl in the shed. I need to run to the pharmacy to refill Grandpa's medicine. Can you watch him for me, please? It's right down the road. I shouldn't be that long. Yeah. You want me to get you anything? No, I'm fine. All right. Mom? Yeah. When did that man move across the street? Oh, Paul? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, a couple months ago? Why? Just wondering. All right. Well, I gotta go before they close. You let me know if you need anything, okay? It's just gonna be a few minutes, okay? Sure. Uh, I just gotta grab a few things. Okay.
Hello. Excuse me? What aisle are the band-aids in? Aisle three on your right. Thanks. I'm gonna tell you something. I know you don't even know who I am, but maybe that's okay. There are things that need to be said. Things I have to say. I can't believe I'm doing this. When I was nine years old, a man took me. He said he was taking me to see my father. The next thing I know, we're in this room. There weren't any windows, just mirrors everywhere. I wasn't there for very long, but it was dark. I had no idea where we were. screamed, the more helpless I felt, and then he held me down on the cold, damp concrete floor. He whispered to me, he was so gentle and soft, and then he grabbed my throat and got on top of me. That was the first time that I felt fear. When he faced me to the mirror and made me watch as he raped me. How you been? Pretty good. Dude, please tell me you got something for me. What do you need? Uh, like an eight, maybe. I got you. Yeah. Hold on a second. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Giddy up. Hey, if you need me to wash anything, just leave it in the basket. I made you... Where are you going? I'm gonna go back to the city. What? No, just just stay the night. I haven't seen you in months. I know, but I should go back. I have like schoolwork and stuff to do, so. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. I just needed to get out of the city. All right, all right. Uh, let me let me drive you to the train. No, it's fine. You don't have to. It's so close. I can just walk. Are you sure? Yeah. How am I going to get in touch with you? Not John. Will you call me from someone's phone and let me know you got there all right? Mm-hmm.
I'll explain everything, Frank. I just, I, I can't talk now. What is this? What is this? What's what? This is your medication, Dad. Which ones Who are those? Who was on the phone? On the phone? Who was on the phone? Nobody. Natalie? What's wrong? Why aren't you taking your medication? What are you talking about? What are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Why aren't you taking your pills? Because I don't need them. Is this some sort of sick joke? Who's gonna pay for this house? Do you want to lose this house? Do you fake having Alzheimer's? For three? How could you do that? Oh, don't even say my name. You have lost any bit of trust I have ever had in you. You're disgusting. Hey mom, it's me. I'm just letting you know that I'm in the city. I'm sorry that I left in such a hurry like that. Tell grandpa that I love him. And I'm sorry for being such a selfish person. 
I just want you to know that I really do appreciate everything that you've ever done for me. I love you. Hi, this is John. Sorry I missed you. Uh, leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Good evening, Walter. The police force are still scrambling for suspects for the kidnapping of Jessica Wallace. Friends and family have been a tremendous support, devoting hours and hours to the aid and help of the investigation with the authorities. Unfortunately, there's no substantiating evidence for any clear leads at this time. In related news, today is the one year anniversary of the killing of Lauren Bowes. We join her parents in mourning her today as they have decided to join the efforts in the volunteer and search team for Jessica. I'm going out for a few hours. I have to go get Tiffany. We need to talk when I get back. Don't go anywhere. She would have been 10 years old last week. Her parents mourned today and have decided to join the volunteer search team for the Wallace family in finding the person responsible. I can't move on, I can't fix it. I don't have the strength. I am pathetic and weak. Everyone is flawed. This can't be a flaw. It's something that I can't control. Something that I was born with. Why would God make me this way? People always say there's a choice, but there just isn't one. And, and to deny myself these feelings would, would only be denying myself of who I really am. but I don't want it anymore. I can't live with myself anymore with these things that I do. It's unforgivable. Unforgivable. You're a monster. I'm a monster. I hate myself. I hate who I am. What I've become. I can't take back things that I've done. Not even God will. I can't tell you the things that I've done. can't describe it. <laughs> I'm 
Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I came. God will forgive you if you have compassion in your heart. No, he won't. Tiffany, but something's wrong. You need to help me. I need you to fucking call me now. Please. Pick up the phone, John. I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Keep an eye on Amy, please. 
Well play a game. <laughs> What we've been through, she's, she's not well. She's sick. John. What's wrong, Mommy? Mommy? Amy, please, give me a minute. I just need a minute to think. How long were you and Daddy together today? Mm, I don't know, for a little bit. Did he touch you? Fuck. Mommy, are you okay? I gotta drop you off at Aunt Jillian's tonight, okay? Why would you do that? Huh? Why would you do that? Promise me you'll never do that again. I promise. Listen. I think... It's just time that we just started being honest with each other, you know? And <laughs> honest. Just honest. I, 
I didn't lose my virginity the way that you think I did. No. No, don't look at me like that. No. Please, I didn't want this. No. No. Look. You need to know that you can trust me. You can tell me things. I can listen to you. I just wanted to be normal. There's no such thing as normal.
It's empty in the valley of your heart The sun, it rises slowly as you walk Away from all the fears and all the faults you've left behind The harvest left no food for you to eat You cannibal, you meat-eater, you see But I have seen the same, I know the shame in your defeat I will hold on hope and I won't let you choke on the noose around your neck and I'll find strength in pain and I will change my ways I'll know my name as it's cold again I still cannot believe you pulled that shit off three years we have got ourselves a winner I'll eventually forgive you I will but I do think there are a few people you need to call, a few people you need to apologize to. You made the right choice. You want some coffee? Yes, please. Well, you fucking make it, you know how. So come out of your cave, walking on your hands And see the world hanging upside down You can understand dependence when you know the maker's land Meet me by the river So make your sirens call and sing all you want I will not hear what you have to say Cause I need freedom now to be